Hi, welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a battery replacement on an HP laptop. So let's identify the model here. Take a look at the bottom of your laptop. You should be able to see the model number. That would be the HP model 15 b 112 dx or BL112DX, something like that, but that's the uh, the model of the laptop. So what happened is that you, f you can feel the trackpad or the back of the computer has a lump on it. So when I try to click on the trackpad, it is not clickable, it's like super solid, the clicking things is all gone, and I feel the palm rest, where you rest your palm, is actually a little lumpy and little swollen on this area. So this is where the battery is located. Okay, so that would be one of the signs that you want to pay attention to. The second is obviously if the computer is not holding the charge or the battery dies off very quickly, then those are the early signs for the replacement. All right, so I'll be using a T5 screwdriver. So let's this is the T5, a Torque 5 screwdriver. We got to remove some of the screws here. And if the battery is swollen and you felt like there's a lump onto the battery, then more likely is you leave the charger plug-in all the time. Okay, so if you have your charger, meaning that the one that charges the laptop, uh, if you have it plug in 24 seven, you know, let it overnight charge and whatnot, then more likely that would be the number one reason why the battery is swollen. Okay, so do not plug in the charger all the time. You just want to plug it in when you use it and when you're done, just unplug it. All right, so what I did, I removed two of the plastic cover because they're two hidden screw. Use a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two hidden screws. Once you have removed that, go ahead and slide and lift up the back cover. Okay. So here you can see that the battery is obviously swollen, that the battery is, you can see, is very hard, lumpy, okay? So that is, obviously, we need to replace it, and this is the connector. So what you can do is slide the connector to your right, okay? Just pull it or slide it to your right, disconnect the battery. The next step is to go ahead and remove the screws. We are going to remove two of the screws here. Two more at the bottom. One on the left. One on the right. Okay, once you have removed them, the battery would just come right off. Okay, this, this is pretty bad. So imagine if you travel with this, you check it into your um, hand carry backpack and you travel with it in an airplane in the middle of the flight, 40,000 miles up in the air, 30,000, was that 30,000 feet up in the air? And you open up your computer and this thing catches fire or explode. That would be a very disaster, right? You don't want that to happen. I'm not saying that it will happen. I'm just saying that uh, these are the precautions, you know, lithium ion battery, they do go bad. I mean, we have seen in the past that the battery on a cell phone catches fire. So same thing for the laptop. I believe that they can catch fire as well. So just try to be careful with it. And yeah, now the trackpad will be clickable again for you. And that shouldn't be a problem now. You can hear it's click clickable. Okay. All right, so the next step is where do I find the battery? So check 
the link down description below um, you can get it from either Amazon or eBay you just have to look up the model here KB 06 XL that is the replacement battery for this and you just have to reinstall them on a reverse process so imagine that the new battery comes in you just remember all the screws that we just removed earlier all these screws put it back in connector slide it back to your left so go that direction slide it in push it all the way in have your cover back on okay and all the screws to cover the back plate and that should be it no configuration needed no settings that you need to do anything it just the battery that has to be changed out that's all all right so besides that um, this is your entire laptop and if you have any question regarding about the hard drive upgrade it's right there that is your m.2 hard drive um, two of your CPU fan you, you might want to take this opportunity to uh, dust it up maybe get a brush brush it off or get an Aiken duster things like that and uh, yeah and if you do find the video is helpful please click the like button and subscribe okay do not miss that I want you to do that for me uh, in exchange for this how-to tutorial all right smash the like button subscribe thanks for watching comment below until next time bye now